If the average time to a major repair for a Toyota Corolla is 8 years with a standard deviation of 0.9 years, what percent of Toyotas will have a major repair before the car is paid off? Assume a 5 year car payment, does this car seem like a safe buy? Alright, so let's see what they've given us in this problem. They tell us the mean, right, the average time for a major repair, they tell us a standard deviation, and they give us one other number, this number 5. They're talking about in the problem what percent of Toyotas will have a major re repair before this value of five years, right? Because before the car is paid off, the car payment is usually a five-year payment. So um, prior to five years, they want to know what percent of Toyotas will have a major repair before that time frame. Now, it sounds like Chevy Chef's theorem to me. You know, they give us a mean, a standard deviation. They don't mention anything about the bell curve or it being normally distributed. They go on to ask me something about the percent that's going to be located somewhere on the number line. Um, however, we do not have an interval. So whenever we think it's Chevy Chev's theorem, but we're not given an interval, it's in our interest to find an interval for ourselves. So let's go ahead and use the only numbers they give us to try to find an interval. So your first step when you don't have an interval provided is to get an interval. So how do we do that? Well you have to place the mean on a number line. And keep in mind, keep in your mind that, you know, so the mean is eight years here, right? And keep in mind that if you're using Chebyshev's theorem, the interval for that theorem must be symmetric about the mean. It must surround the mean. So I have to think of a way to create an interval that's going to be symmetric around the mean using part of the given information. That given information here is this number five. So where is five with respect to eight on a number line? It's to the left, right? So I put the 5 there on the left. And now my goal is to figure out how far is 5 from 8? What's the distance between these numbers? I get that by subtracting them. If I take 5 from 8, I get the answer 3, right? So the distance is 3. Now what I want to do is take that same number and put it on the other side. In other words, I need to find another number that's 3 units away from 8 as well. That number would be 11, correct? If I add 3 to 8, I get 11. And now I've created my interval. So my interval for this problem is going to be from 5 to 11. I can work with that interval using Chebyshev's theorem. All right, so let's do that. Once you have an interval, the next step is to get k. So recall we use this formula. k is the limit minus the mean over sigma. Remember I'm using limit to refer to either the upper limit or the lower limit for the interval that we've created. And it's often best to work with the upper limit so you get a positive k, although again the lower limit gives you the same value, just negative, right? Take away the mean. The mean we said was 8. Standard deviation is 0.9 from the problem. That's going to give us 3 divided by 0.9. Okay. So let's see what we get when we do that. 3 divided by 0.9, it gives us 3.3 repeating. 3.3 .3 repeating. So a bunch of 3's after that decimal place. Okay, now once we have that, we're going to use this formula, right? At least 1 minus 1 over k squared times 100% is inside the interval. All right, well, that means for us that we want to put the 3.3 .3 repeating in for k and see what that ends up giving us. So 1 minus 1 over 3.333 squared, let's say, times 100%. All right, so I'm going to work that out in my calculator. Not rounding at all, so 1 minus 1 divided by 3.3 .3 repeating squared. That's going to give us precisely 91%. Again, I get precisely 91% because I didn't round my k at all. If you round it, you'll get something that will round up to 91%. All right, so this means that the interval, the interval from 5 to 11 years has at least 
91% of all Toyotas. Should have capitalized that T, right? It's disrespectful to Toyota. Sorry about that, Toyota. All right, so this interval contains at least 91% of the Toyotas. But we're not asked about that interval, right? We're really not. We're asked to say what percent will fail or have a major repair before five years. So again, we have to look at this interval and say, well, gee, if 91% at minimum is located inside of that interval, so it's at least 91%, it could be more, but it's no less than 91% is inside the interval, what could possibly be below or outside of the interval or below five in this case? Well, the most that could be outside of the interval is 9%. So we should say, at most, 9%. Now, again, we spoke about this, I think, in another video, but in Chebyshev's theorem, we have no idea that it's symmetric, so you don't want to make the mistake of saying, well, you know, at most could be 9% outside, and since we're talking about below 5, you know, half of that would be, you know, the value that's at most, so we'd say at most, you know, 4.5% or something. That's not correct, right? Because for all we know, all the Toyotas that fail um, outside of this interval could fail before 5 years. For all we know, all the Toyotas that fail outside of this interval could fail after 11 years. That's why we wrote this phrase, at most, before the 9%. Because we don't have the assumption of symmetry when working with Chebyshev's theorem, we don't know that half of this is on this side and half of it's on that side. And also, we don't know if there's any of it outside of this interval. It could very well be that this interval contains all of it, right? Because it says at least 91%. Maybe 100% of all Toyotas will go from 5 to 11 years. Um, you know, before having their major, their first major repair. So maybe every Toyota that's ever going to break at some point is going to break within this time frame for the first time. Maybe no car goes longer than 11 years without breaking, and no car breaks before 5 years. That's entirely possible. Um, but what we can say is that since at least 91% of the values are inside the interval, it's at most 9% that's outside the interval. And again, in case you didn't catch why, it's at most 9%, 91 and 9 make 100. So if there's at least 91% in here, there's at most 9% that's outside of the interval. Therefore, at most 9% that can be below 5, right?